Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today I am going to talk to you about best and worst breakfast ideas for diabetics. Now, I'm going to tell you some ideas. I'm not going to tell you what to eat or what not to eat. I'm going to give you some ideas and I'm going to tell you what's right and what's wrong based on what I have seen also on Google and YouTube, etc. And these questions come to me all the time anyways in my clinic. And I try to tell patients, it's individualized, everybody likes different things, but I'll tell you what I prefer in my diet and what I tell my patients to do. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with the best breakfast ideas. So the best breakfast idea is not a breakfast that has no carbs. Of course you have to have carbs. Who can eat steak every morning? that eat steak and don't eat any oatmeal, don't eat anything carby, that, come on, you have to have some carbs. That's how a breakfast have. Everybody has carbs. No matter how much you say don't eat carbs, they're gonna eat the carbs. That's not a good doctor. A good doctor knows their patient, understand what their needs are. Oh, okay, so you hate carbs, good for you, but a lot of people are not like that, right? So let's go with the best breakfast idea. So for example, an avocado toast with a pumpernickel bread. So let's say you're choosing a bread. I would suggest just don't choose the white bread. You know that. You can go with the pumpernickel bread, Ezekiel bread, a bread that has more fibers, you know, less net carbs. Remember, the more fiber you have, the less net carbs you have. So you can actually subtract fibers from the total carbs because those fibers are eliminating uh, and creating less net carbs. So. Remember that more fiber the better on your on your bread and pumpernickel. I love pumpernickel bread and I think that's the best thing you can do. Now when you eat avocado, remember the avocado is fatty and healthy fat and that slows down the absorption. Your blood sugar is not going to spike. Now, so I would suggest that's that's a good thing, right? So the second one is uh, yogurt. So you can have a yogurt. Um, now too much yogurt is not good. You have to stay in moderation and you have to make sure that it's not having a lot of added sugars, a lot of like fruits and stuff like that. They add a bunch of stuff, but you have to make sure there's a low calorie, low carbohydrate, high protein Greek yogurt is another good breakfast idea. Now, you can also have eggs. Uh, you can have as many eggs do you want, except the yolks. So I'm gonna give you one yolk maybe to kind of blend with the rest of the egg whites. So but I, for, for example, what I do sometimes, I, you know, I work out. I don't look like I work out a lot, but actually I do work out. <laughs> so, so I eat a lot of uh, eggs, but what I do is I will um, basically have like, let's say five egg whites and I'll have only one yolk. So just to have a little taste. I will mix it with some uh, feta cheese uh, like a low-fat feta cheese, and that gives a good, nice, uh, little salty taste, uh, and that's that's a great idea. So you don't want to just have anything bland because then you end up hating it, right? So you have to have a little bit of a taste. So you can have avocado next to it, you know, like egg whites, a little bit of a yolk, um, and then you can have some uh, feta cheese. The best cheese actually you can consume is goat cheese. So you can use goat cheese in different ways, uh, incorporate that to your breakfast as much as you can because the goat cheese, the fatty acids in the goat cheese is the best. Now when you are treating your diabetes, you also have to always think about your heart because you cannot just treat your sugar and just mess up with the cholesterol. So that's not a good strategy. So you have to make sure that you take care of all in a holistic way. Now another one that you can do for your breakfast is Frittata. So for example, frittata for, um, I mean, I can give you a, a quick um, ingredients right here. But that's another great way of uh, having a good, healthy breakfast. Now, one thing that I enjoy a lot, uh, and my wife makes that for me, uh, and I take it to work sometimes, and I love it. Even my employees will sometimes be like, oh, what's that, doctor? It looks delicious. <laughs> I sometimes share with them, sometimes don't. I'm like, hey, I'm too hungry right now, sorry. <laughs> now, chia seed pudding is really good, and you can add some nuts to it, and you can make it really fun, and you can have some sweeteners if you want to have some sweet taste to it, but that's another great way of having 
a very healthy full of antioxidants full of fiber and low carb that's another great way of uh, having a good healthy breakfast for diabetes again these are the things that i eat and i don't have diabetes but i'm telling you and even if you have diabetes that diet is going to be wonderful now mediterranean type of breakfast is another good friend you know for you uh, check it out uh, for example, in Turkey, in my country, people eat uh, cheese, especially goat cheese. They eat olives. Uh, they would even have olive oil mixture at, at the breakfast uh, with some a little bit of a healthy bread, uh, like a one slice or something. That's fine. As I said, if you're having healthy fat in your diet, that's going to slow the absorption and prevent the blood sugar spikes. It's not going to be as bad. Also having vegetables like I love cucumbers. I love tomatoes with some feta cheese. That's also another great breakfast idea. You can't have fruits in your breakfast. If, you have, if somebody's telling you that you can't have fruits because you have diabetes, you're banned from fruits of your life, drop that guy because you have to have fruits. Fruits is essential in your diet. You just have to control that, again, one cup of fruits are your best friend. One, when I say one cup, you know, think about like a baseball. Uh, um, so the bottom line is you have to control your carbs though and i'm not telling you go just fill your plate with everything i said you have to pick and choose for what breakfast you want to have try to keep your breakfast carbs below 45 grams if possible uh, and that's going to be a good breakfast for you now uh, you can also use turkey bacon if you are into bacon definitely you can use turkey bacon uh, at your breakfast instead of a regular bacon which has a lot more saturated fat Worst breakfast ideas. The worst breakfast ideas. Number one, my number one that I hate a lot and I hate myself as well. Uh, not that I hate cereal, but I, I hate having it because it doesn't give me a good after feeling. And a lot of diabetics, it's very hard for me to control diabetes when somebody is just insist on eating a cereal. A cereal will just spike your blood sugar, will skyrocket at like a 90 degree. And no matter what medication you're taking, it's going to be hard to control. The second worst breakfast is an oatmeal loaded with tops. So oatmeal is actually not that bad if you're controlling your portion size, but if you're loading it with like bananas, the brown sugar, uh, some other fruits and this and that, then, then you are really, you can lose control of how much carbs you're getting with that oatmeal. So, but if you're having oatmeal uh, with some maybe Splenda or some uh, non uh, super starchy uh, uh, fruits uh, in a smaller size nuts on top of it will be a good choice as well totally against bagels if you're not gonna take a three mile walk after eating a bagel do not eat that bagel even if you put a cream cheese on top of it which is not the healthiest thing to eat because a cream cheese is a lot of saturated fat uh, Regardless though, bagel is going to really spike your blood sugar. If you insist on eating a bagel, go get some whole grain bagel and do not eat more than half of that bagel and make sure that's the entire carbs that you're going to have at that breakfast. And of course, the waffles is a no-no for you. I would say, you know, if you're going to have a waffle, that should be a really special treat. Uh, you should not be having pancakes, again, because you cannot just have, have pancakes uh, without any toppings. But if you're going to insist on having waffles and pancakes, again, go for the whole wheat or whole grain styles. There are some of them are like loaded with some protein. And if you can incorporate some healthy fat with it, you can get away with it. Again, that's based on your blood sugar response. Some people are not as um, bad in terms of blood sugar spikes with those foods. But again, I would suggest try to eliminate them and try to make them as a special treat, but do not make them a routine breakfast for yourself. Definitely white bread is something that you have to stay away from. I hope you like this video, guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, this video is for inspirational purpose only. You may be different. So some people will say, oh, I'm happy. I'm perfectly happy with my bacon every morning. Well, that's fine, but I'm telling you that's not fine for your heart. Uh, and if you are okay with eating same protein every morning, let's say you want to eat turkey every morning, be my guest, but I think that's boring. So you need to kind of think about what I'm saying and take it what you can. Try to uh, give some trial and error to it. Everybody is different. Understand that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you give a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.